The green stick compound should be added on the buckle board of the tray. Place it in hot water and wet your gloved finger if you are trying to mold the borders and before inserting it into the patient's mouth, place it in cold water for a few seconds so that the patient will not get any thermal injuries. If the tray is exposed during border molding, remove the green stick compound from the trays to 2 mm and then start your procedure again. Buckle frenum area. This may be performed unilaterally. Passive movements. The cheek is elevated and pulled outward, downward and inward and moved backward and forward. Active movements. Patient is asked to pucker the lip and smile. For the distobuckle area. This should be performed bilaterally. Passive movements. The cheek is pulled outwards, downwards and inwards. Active movements. Patient is asked to open the mouth wide and close and move the mandible from side to side. Opening the mouth wide delineates the depth and width of the distobuckle flange as governed by the muscle attachments, while moving the mandible from side to side accommodates for the movement of the coronoid process.